good evening students welcome back to this video segment uh, in this segment we shall complete what we started uh, solving linear congruences okay before you view this video segment I encourage you to view the videos uh, on linear congruency linear congruence part one okay and before you view those you should view the videos on uh, inverse modular inverse and also uh, finding GCD okay two videos on GCD two videos on a uh, modular inverse and a video on linear congruence part one okay we want to finish because the questions we have here is based on the modular inverse that we did this is just a continuation of that so you have uh, you want to solve for x number three 55 x is congruent to 34 mod 89 so what you want to do is you want to find x right so that when you multiply it by 55 it will be congruent to 34 mod 89 and the easiest way we solve this is uh, let's look at 55 and 89 if we can find the inverse of 55 mod 89 that would help us a lot how is it going to help us uh, when we remember we have to find the inverse of 55 mod 89 if we find the inverse of this, 55 mod 89, whatever it gives us, right, we can multiply it by, uh, we can multiply both sides by that inverse, so that it will give us uh, uh, 1. Now, remember, not everything will have an inverse, you know, but if the GCD is 1, then it will have an inverse okay if I said that in previous videos so if the GCD is 1 if they are relatively prime then it will have an inverse like 55 and 89 they are relatively prime so it will have an inverse and if we can find the inverse of 55 mod 89 then we can multiply both sides both sides of this uh, congruence equation we can multiply both sides by the inverse now when we multiply both sides by the inverse then we now find x when we multiply both sides by the inverse then this left hand side will now give us 1 so that 1 times x will be x in that way we isolate x actually in that way we can isolate x okay that is the way we solve it and it's pretty easy to solve it that way. I mean, it's kind of uh, easier to understand it that way, you know. So, what we do here is, we look at 55 and we look at 89. From the previous video, we found out that uh, the inverse of, inverse of 55 mod 89, gave us 34 that was what we got from the previous video so because of that you now multiply both sides by 34 multiply both sides by 34 and this is still in mod 89 okay so this will be 34 times 55 times x because of course 55x is 55 times x equal to it is well it's congruent this is congruent not equal to equivalent okay equivalent to 34 times 34 mod 89 okay that was that's what we did so now i'm going to i'm going to show you something here so when you have this right when you have this we now see that uh, 
if we multiply this by the inverse, it gives us the GCD, which is 1. And that's the technique of using, uh, of using the inverse to multiply both sides. Okay? Because when we use 34 times 55 mod 89, right? 34 times 55 gives us what? Ah. Uh, 5 times, let me do 34, 55. 5 times 420 carry 2. 5 times 315 plus 2, 17. 5 times 420 carry 2, 17. So, 1870. 1870. Okay? Mod 89. And of course, when you do 1870 mod 89, it gives you one. It's going to give you one. Okay? But if you want us to do it, we can do it. 1870 divided by 89, it gives you 21, right? So you now do 21 times 89, 1869. So 1870 minus 1869. So it gives you one, right? Mod 89. So that is the technique why we use the inverse to multiply both sides. So this is 1. 1 times x is equivalent to, you now do that of this, you now want to find the x. 34 times 34 gives you 1156 mod 89. So we can simplify this further. So x is equivalent to what now? 1156 divided by 89 gives you 12. Okay, so the integer value is 12. 12 times 89 is 1068. Then you subtract it from 1156. Gives you 88. 88 mod 89. So x is 88. And that becomes your answer. 88. Now, you, we can check this, you know. Uh, I, have this, I have the calculator links on my website, so you can use, check it on my website. But we can also practically check it, you know. And how do we check it, of course? Let's check. Uh, we write the congruency first. 55x is congruent to 34 mod 89 so left hand side is 55x right hand side is 34 now we all we, all, we know that it is in mod 89 that's the main thing we know it's in mod 89 and we got our x as, 50, as 88 so this is 55 times 88 our x is 88 so 55 times 88 gives us what? 4840. Okay? Now do this now in mod 89, you know? This is mod 89. And then do this in mod 89. What would it give you? The modulo concept divide by 89 gives you 54. So 89 times 54, which is the integer part, is 4806. 4806 subtract it from 4840 gives you 34 mod 89. So you see the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. And then you can drink some soda or you dance, you know. So that is number three. Okay. Uh, next one is number four. Let me erase this. So number four, we have 89x is equivalent to 2 mod 232. So solve this for x. So we look at 89 and 232, right? What did we get as the inverse? Our inverse of 89 mod 232 of course, 89 and 232 are relatively prime. Uh, the inverse is what? I think we got 73. 
right? So you now multiply both sides by 7 and 3. Multiply both sides by 7 and 3. So we have 7 and 3 times 89 times x is congruent to 7 and 3 times 2. All of them is mod 232. Everything is in mod 232. So when we do 73 times 89, okay, of course it will give us uh, this is now 6497 times x is congruent to what? 73 times 2 is 146. All of them mod 232. But we now do 6497 mod 232, right? Because this mod 232 applies to both the left hand and the right hand. Okay? This is like saying, this is like saying 6497 times x mod 232 is congruent to 146 mod 232. If you want me to break it further down, it's the same thing as saying this. So you want to do uh, 6497 mod 232 gives what anyway, you say, of course, 6497 divided by 232. Integer part is 28. You now do 232 times 28. Use the 6496. So this is 1 times x. It's equivalent to 146 or 232. You can do that, and x is now equivalent to 146 mod 232. That becomes your answer. That's it, the answer. And then you can also check, as usual, you can check. So I'm kind of, you know, trying to do it several ways, so you can check that. Uh, if you check, we write the main problem, 89x is equivalent to 2, or 232. Then the left hand side, okay, let me come over here. Left hand side and the right hand side. Left hand side is what? 89x. Right hand side is what? 2. Meanwhile, our x is what? 146. Right? So this is now 89 times 146. And this is all the mod. 232, this is mod 232. So you now do 89 times 146 gives you 12994 mod 232, which will give you what? You now divide by 232, gives you 56 integer pack, then you do 232 times 56, gives you 12992. Then you subtract it from 12,994 and it gives you 2. So this is 2 or 232. You have 2 on your left, you have 2 on your right. You can rejoice. Okay? So, um, watch out for the next part. Uh, I will do modular inverse using uh, extended Euclidean algorithm. Thank you so much, students, for listening. And you have a good evening.